I want to talk about a new feature we have in ChainGuard called Custom Assembly. What we found is that people love our images, but they quite often want to add one or two extra packages. In some cases, organizations wanted to add packages to all their images, such as an extra debugging or monitoring tool like FluentD. In other cases, teams needed specific packages for an entry point or health check script, such as JQ and curl. And in other cases, people actually wanted to run a mix of processes, such as MySQL and a Java application. To achieve this, previously teams either had to engage ChainGuard to create a custom image, or they had to use the dash dev images and APK add extra packages in the Docker file. Neither of these solutions are great. The APK add method means that teams have to maintain extra builds and can easily add APKs that aren't covered by the remediation SLA. The final image also won't have the same attestations and won't be signed by us. Custom Assembly fixes this by allowing you to customize images by adding extra packages and ChainGuard will take care of the builds. This means that you end up with an image that meets your team's requirements without requiring extra maintenance work, but still have everything covered by the remediation SLA, a complete SBOM and signed by us. Okay, let's jump into a demo. So this is the ChainGuard console. I'm logging as myself and I'm using the ChainGuard.edu account. Let's go to organization images, which gives us a full view of all the images I have access to, including these two custom assembly ones. We're gonna click on the one that's been named custom assembly. And what to note is we've got this customized image button in the top right. So only custom assembly images have this option. And this opens the customized image menu. Um, here we can see the name of the image, custom assembly, its full address, and what image it was based on. In this case, the Python based image. And here we have a list of all the packages you have access to. So this is basically everything available to your account. There will also be some that are already selected, and those are the packages from the base image, which you can't unselect. Now, let's say I have, I want to add an entry point script to this and it has some requirements, maybe bash and maybe curl. Okay. I've added these. Um, I want to build an image with these extra packages. I'm gonna click preview changes and it's gonna bring up this menu. It is worth bearing in mind this uh, warning down here. If you add extra packages in, you might break things. And you are responsible for testing everything to make sure it works as you expect. And be doubly careful if, you've, if you have a FIPS image because you could easily add something with non-FIPS crypto here. Okay, now I'm gonna click Apply Changes. We created the image. Last step is Go to Builds. Okay, so I've given it a few minutes and here are the builds that I see. Note that there is a new build for each um, tag within the image. So for each of the Python variants like 310, 312 and latest, you get a customized image. We can um, click on these and get a little bit more details on the build, including the logs. So if something goes wrong, you can click in there and get a bit, uh, few more details. And that's really about it, but as a final step, let's uh, hop over to the terminal and we'll have a go at using one of these images. Okay, let's start by pulling that custom assembly image. And I had a shaft for it, so let's see if I can put that in. Okay. Looks like that's successfully working. Still a pretty small image. Okay, so let's try running this. And because this is a custom assembly image, it should have bash and curl in it. So let's actually go back up. Um, and we'll set the entry point to bash, 
which wouldn't work in a normal Python image. And we'll also put dash it. OK, so now inside the image, we have bash. And I should be able to run curl. There we go. So we've got a custom Python image with bash and curl inside it. And that's about it. And um, please do get in touch if you want to use the custom assembly feature and save your team some maintenance headaches.